Um, I will be putting the OCZ Vertex 2 SSDs in here, and this is the new update right here. This is my, you remember my ITX computer, which is this one right here, on uh, the AMD E350. Well, you can see there's nothing inside right now. It's all empty. What I did was I ended up buying a new case for it so I can fit more hard drives and better cooling. And this is one of the best ITX cases that I've ever bought. Um, it just came out in the market a while ago. It's the Cooler Master um, Elite 120 Advanced. And it was only like $54. It's pretty nice. It's got a uh, you know, power reset right there. And it's got a um, USB 3.0. The blue ones are USB 3.0. And these two are USB 2.0. And you got a headphone and microphone jack. Um, it's got tons and tons of ventilation for a huge giant video card. You can fit a full ATX power supply. It's got a bracket right here. Uh, you see it? Yeah, it's got a bracket right there. Um, some kind of water cooling hole, grommet hole, but this is actually for like your USB um, 3.0 pass-through cable that would plug in the back here. But it does have an internal pass-through cable. So if you had a motherboard that had internal uh, USB 3.0, you could plug it right in. It's got two um, PCI slots, so you can actually put a full video card in here, and it's insane. I could fit a 5870 video card, which is real long. It's about 11 inches long. Um, I could fit one of my 680 or 670 GTX for the ones in here, which is about, I think, 10 and a half inches. So yeah, it's the back. You you guys already seen that. It's the same component. Um, yep, this is pretty much it. So it's, it's not a bad, it's a nice looking case. You got holes that are right here on the side. I don't know how well you can see them. See where my finger is down here. You got holes where there's ventilation on the side. And there's actually a 120 millimeter fan that goes underneath. And it allows you to intake air from the front. And there's also another case fan I'll show you in a minute. Uh, sorry for the cable management. It's a little bit hard to hide cables in this case. So... Um, about these CX power supplies, um, I don't know if I recommend these anymore to you guys because I recently had one die because it's probably my fault. I plugged in a 5870 into here with Molex connectors and uh, I tried plugging in another computer and it only lasted like four months and then it fried out so it's probably my fault. But yeah, for this computer I just had a spare one. Um, same specs, it's an AMD E350 1.6 GHz dual core CPU and a 8 gigabyte of Corsair XMS3 1333 MHz with 99924 timings. And your video card would go actually right here. So you can see you got ample space. Uh, these won't be here if you were like doing like cable management or something like that. But you can fit a full size video card. I don't hear like if you had a giant size video card and you still got more room if you wanted to. Um, just for a heck of it I put a 5870 here I'll show you. Sorry about that I got a... So here's one of my older HD 5870s and this is like 11 inch card. It's like really super long video card and as you can see I know it's in there crooked. It does fit I know the spacer, but it does actually fit, and it will fit all the way across, and then you can fit that in there if you wanted to. I've seen people put um, 690 GTX in this case, and crazy, just insane video cards in this. Um, I got the Corsair CX430, so it's a 430 watt, which is overkill for this computer. I did, just playing around, I did have my NVIDIA, uh, was it, GTS 250? which is NVIDIA graphics card, and I put that in there and it did work. Um, this is like another fan. I think this is like a 80 millimeter fan, but it's like the slim, slim line. It's like a case fan, and that blows right over the CPU heatsink, which is over there. And this is the Corsair XMS3 1333. Let's see, I'm trying to... Yeah, see how the little itty bitty fan on the uh, cooler. Uh, you have these three, so you can fit three 3.5 inch um, hard drives or SSDs. These have SSD mounts. 
that you can put in here and they actually I don't, I don't want to do it right now because it will mess up my cable management but you can slide them out it's just like my Cooler Master half 932 case or the half 912 case you can slide these out and they have rails on them uh, right here on top I have the older 7200 RPM uh, Western Digital 1 terabyte black caviar black serial AT2 and once I get my new OCZ vector SSDs I'm gonna put a 50 gigabyte OCZ Vertex 2 SSD in here for my ITX seed box this is where I share the Biddenhart files and then I'm gonna put a 50 gigabyte OCZ Vertex SSD in my home theater PC which is this one right here which it should boot a lot faster and one OCZ Vertex SSD is 285 megabits per second read and 275 megabits per second write on serial AT2 so it's not it's not super super fast but it's it's really fast it's faster than three Western Digital one terabyte plaques in RAID 0 so it's, it's all the speed I need for a home theater PC and that's why I said yeah 200 and 250 gigabyte SSDs in RAID 0 only gives me like 94 gigabytes of free space something like that no 93 gigabytes of free space because after you format it it's 100 gigabytes full space but yeah it's really not enough space I only have 30 gigabytes free space SSD so I, yeah, I just got those 220 gigabyte SSDs and uh, the Cooler Master fan that came with this case was pretty loud I, I didn't like it at all it was like a twister bearing fan I still have it somewhere but I'll have to find it here I'll take this front off so I can show you guys so this front has like plastic clips inside and you just kinda like take it off sorry about that guys my camera battery died um, like I was saying the stock Cooler Master fan was kinda loud on this case and the Cooler Master um, Advanced Elite 120 um, so I pretty much replaced it with one of these fans right here these are the best fans I've ever bought the Noctua NF F so it's a dash F 12 and uh, I think this fan was like 25 or yeah I think it was 25 dollars so the best I got this from frozencpu.com best fan I've ever bought um, not sure where these make Sweden or Germany and you can see these are pressure optimized optimized fans so these are more for uh, radiators but on this can uh, case if I can show you right here you have the hard drive bay so I really needed some fans that would push a lot of air but be extremely quiet and I got a low fan noise resistor right here which plugs into the three fan uh, three pin fan connector and that drops the RPM down I think to 1200 RPM I th let's see what are the specs on these hold on for a second I'm looking with you okay right here it's saying max rotational speed without the fan adapter it's 1500 RPM and with the low, low noise adapter it's 1200 RPM so right now the fan speeds on 12 RPM 1200 RPM and uh, it's extremely extremely quiet without the fan with uh, 1500 RPM full speed it's 22.4 decibels and with the low noise adapter which drops it down to 1200 RPM it's only 18.6 decibels and I don't know how well you can see it but there's little like grooves that are in the not in the blades but in the the fan frame itself and this helps direct uh, airflow and there's like rubber these are brown rubber um, cushions now I know everybody hates the Noctua fan colors I kinda hate them too the, with the ugly brown color but I wanted something that was extremely durable because this is for an ITX server this computer is supposed to be on 24 7 use very little power and use um, extremely quiet um, this fan is actually turned off I didn't even plug it in because it was kinda noisy also so the whole cooling is just a front intake fan that blows the air all the way through and it cools it down here and the power supply is actually sucking air from the outside of the case that's what these holes are for right here where it actually sucks air in and this is for ventilation for your video card or ventilation for your motherboard where it blows out and I mean this case is way way better and I want to show you a size comparison let's see I know the front's taken off sorry let's see okay so oh and the front cover too I forgot to say this 
on the front cooler master cover there's actually holes where it's cut out and you get extra ventilation where it sucks it through and there's a bottom right intake so it actually sucks the air right through let me put this on and I'll kind of show you a oops sorry I'm going to put this down for a second so if you can see right here um, that's where it's sucking extra air in from the fan and there's rotating feet, plastic feet so we'll give you a little size comparison now keep in mind the covers turned off or the covers off right now that is my original case, the ITX case. This was a $50 case, and this was a $54 case. And the quality is just amazing when you compare the two. Um, this is a smaller, low-profile case, so you can't use that many uh, heat sinks for the CPU. It has to be real low-profile. As you can see, this is a 5 and a quarter bay higher, so it's one bay higher. But I can only fit one or two hard drives in this, and this, with this special bay adapter I put in here, I could put four hard drives with the bay adapter. And without the bay adapter, I can put three, three and a five quarter hard drives. Or they have it where you can have two SSDs and one three and a five quarter uh, bay drive. So yeah, it's really, really crazy. Definitely recommend the Cooler Master Elite 120 Advance. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, just, I think this came out a couple months ago. It's pretty brand new. Yep, so I'm going to put a 50 gigabyte SSD in here, the Vertex 2, OCZ Vertex 2. Um, this is the same, my uh, home theater PC, same specs. I'll put a 50 gigabyte SSD in here, which is going to make it movies a lot faster. And I just want to show you, um, people ask me all the time, how much does this computer cost? You know, I get the question all the time. If I include the price of the new 120 gigabyte SSDs, the Vector series, the 228 gigabytes in RAID 0, this whole computer, if I, if I take away the the 50 gigabyte SSDs, this whole computer is $3,000. I know it sounds extreme, but I bought one part at a time, and it was over a long period of time, and I saved money to get something like this. So with the two video cards, you're looking at $900. With the CPU, RAM, motherboard and uh, some of the case fans like this fan and maybe the other door fan you're looking at about a thousand dollars so that's nineteen hundred dollars right there just in motherboard and video cards and then you gotta include all the custom fans and custom sleeved cables and the custom water cooling which was made in Germany which I got from Frozen CPU and they don't make it anymore and I, whenever you buy something brand new when it comes out you always pay a price premium so I'm paying big bucks, like I said, about $3,000, which is insane. I'm not bragging, but uh, just save your money and you could have something like this. And yeah, the performance is insane. So I just want to show you guys um, the update on my computer and some of the mods I did with the sleeving and tell you the pros and cons of the video cards, the EVGA 670 GTX for the one in SLI. And uh, like I said, 2600K at 4.8 gigahertz, 24/7 stable, 1.43 volt. And there's my cable sleeving that I showed you that all on the back. And like I said, it's hard to press against. Just take your time, build the computer the best you can, and change one part at a time. You don't have to buy everything at the same time. Like I said, I think I showed you guys this before, but yeah, it's my comfy Staples chair I just got. Yeah, really, really nice chair, really comfortable. $170 original, uh, got it for $100 on sale. And then I had gift cards, you know, $40 gift cards, so I got real cheap. Definitely uh, recommend, this is probably one of the best chairs I've had for, for the price. Yep, so same setup, just wanted to do a little video update on the video cards. And I should begin the OCC Vector 120GB SSDs in RAID 0 pretty soon. Uh, remember, when you put the two drives in RAID 0, um, you know, you get 256 gigabytes with double the speed, but if one drive fails, you lose all the data for both drives, so you got to be careful with RAID 0. You always back up your data on another hard drive, and that's what I do. Yep, and uh, I'll just try to make some more Battlefield 3 video guys for you, um, Battlefield 3 videos for you guys, and uh, just tell me what you think in the comments, and uh, I'll probably put some more. This is probably my last update for the Cooler Master Half 932 PC 
because I think I'm updating, I'm done updating this computer. It's pretty much upgraded to the max. So this PC is pretty much finished. And I'll put some of the specs in the uh, description if I can of uh, this computer and the other ones. So uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the OCZ Vertex 2. Same specs, just the second card with the 680 backplate. Yeah, so it's pretty much insane. And I'm really, really happy with the performance. Yep, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, like I said, tell me what you think in the comments. Have a nice day. Bye.